abducted. I felt an absolutely, indescribable sense of menace. It was hell on earth to be there, in the presence of the entities, and yet I couldn't move, couldn't cry out, couldn't get away. I'd lay as still as death, suffering inner agonies. Whatever was, there seemed so monstrously ugly, so filthy and dark and sinister. Of course, they were demons. They had to be. And they were here, and I couldn't get away. Whitley Stryber Seven, go ahead. I'm talking with 10 o'clock high. This is Houston. Say again, seven. I'm talking with 10 o'clock high. An object which is at the same place all the time and appears to be tumbling. Well, we've had it ever since yesterday. It just seems to be tagging along with us. The cultural preparations or deliberate conditioning of the world, to view our alien visitors as powerful and highly evolved saviors, makes the UFO phenomena, the perfect motif for the Antichrist to exploit, when he ascends to power. His ability to perform supernatural signs and wonders, his comprehensive plan for the peaceful unification of mankind, and his connection to origin from, God-like alien entities, will engender the masses to follow him, into the biggest deception in history. ...made this motion picture possible. In the 1950s, Trevor James Constable unlocks one of the mysteries of UFOs. And that is the fact, that most of them, are invisible. By using infrared film in his cameras, he discovers UFOs that exist in a light spectrum that cannot be seen with the naked eye or photographed with conventional cameras. This opens a whole new aspect in the documenting of UFOs, and his discovery reveals that some UFOs may be living creatures. He calls them critters. In 1994, Jose Escamilla discovers a phenomenon called rods, a life form invisible to the naked eye that we had never seen before. He develops a technique for filming these life forms that exist in a realm of the very fast, he calls it sky fishing, using the high-speed shutter setting on a camera. In 1995, NASA stops airing live broadcasts from shuttle missions after UFO footage has been made public, creating a controversy about how much NASA really knows about their existence. Looks like you got an object right in front of you, Mark. Can you look out there? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Never mind. That same year, Martin Stubbs begins recording what will be five years and over 2,500 hours of uninterrupted live broadcasts from NASA's own downlink. Today we have digital camcorder technology that enables us to capture UFOs in full color, high resolution video. Invisible UFOs can now be captured in broad daylight by a simple camera conversion. Two camcorders of the same make and model are set up side by side. Camera 1 on the left is set for regular daytime recording. Camera 2 on the right is set on night shot, which has been converted to shoot in broad daylight.
With the night shot camera on the right, a UFO that is in the infrared spectrum is clearly visible. Trevor James Constable discovered this. NASA has been doing this. And now, after thousands of years, technology has finally caught up to the mystery of UFOs. These three events bring forth the accumulation of research and evidence that not only prove most of them are invisible, but that many UFOs could be living bioorganisms. disappeared for the second time over the ocean. We return you now to CBS in New York. That was Byron Palmer on the West Coast. Aliens, of course, play an important role in the larger body of deception. This is an attempt to explain the effect that the alien UFO phenomena even now is having on different groups of people. Remember, the whole purpose of these UFO manifestations etc. are to prepare people for an eventual alien invasion which will lead the ignorant and uninformed directly into the worship of the Antichrist. We are not alone. That's the message a group of pilots, scientists, and former government officials want Congress to hear. Ken Shotnick shows us tonight what some people are calling a UFO cover-up. I've never seen it. Look at that. I don't know, but I got it on tape. A strand of moving light in the sky over Phoenix. A bright glowing streak dashing through West Covina. What looks like a flying saucer tracked on radar over Mexico City. Are these UFOs caught on tape? Dan Wills is a former radio operator for the Navy. I took personally communications from ships that uh, were reporting uh, the extraterrestrial craft merging out of the ocean and shooting off into space. He's among a group of scientists, military and former FAA officials calling for congressional hearings to establish the presence of UFOs and extraterrestrials. 21 members of that group already have testified in Washington 